Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You! And you! You're all dead! Let's go. Now! Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked! He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway.
It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. You don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! Pavadu! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Oh no! Chloe... I just shot a man... and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. 
I'm sorry. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. Ah, oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Oh, Christ. Yes, Frank, without the... Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! How do you like my blade, kid? Huh? Whoa! Chloe! Get off of me! Oh, fresh meat. So Pompadou must be okay. Good doggy. Listen. <sighs> Frank, um, after our last meeting, I don't want any weapons involved. Could you put your knife or whatever in the RV until we're done talking? After you pulled a fucking gun on me, you want to negotiate my safety? I didn't trust you before, and now I do less. God, I hate you Blackwell shits! You act like you own this town, like I'm your puppet! Nobody owns me! You understand that? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do! Get it, bitch! Get it! Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. You won't... No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I... I... Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That figures. Okay, there, you're safe. Now what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it?
You already did. Ah, oh, you fucking men. No, no, I'm. Oh, Christ. Yeah. Frank, let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch. Get it. How do you like my blade, kid? Huh? Whoa. Chloe. Get off of me. You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... we just want the code for your account book. There. Now leave me alone, all right? Just... just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Shit. This could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. <sighs> yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. Chloe, are you okay? Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about Frank. Please don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Looks like this is not relevant at all. I bet I could suss out some major clues in Frank's account book. If I could decipher the damn code names. The game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with... Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open... Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Okay, Max, 
Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Fail. Abort. Wrong clues.
If Nathan did drug Kate, he must have gotten the drugs from Frank. This makes no sense, Max. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just paranoid about everybody? Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? That's definitely Chloe's car. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Hmm. Who else was David tracking here? Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. This is like goddamn math. I suck. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. 
What could help me unlock this phone? <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. All so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Score. Now let's check out all the messages from the week Kate was dropped. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Ask, is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too.
Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. We're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Max, get over hmm. here before I torch this place. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez. That is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Chloe would make a great detective, too. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies.
This tractor has paid its dues. I guess the press cuts were just born bastards. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Boring, boring. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Nothing here. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Just rotting wood. Ah, the good old days. So many haystacks, so few needles. Damn, lots of info here. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. There's no way this rusty-ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. The rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. That looks sturdy enough to stand on.
Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. strikes again. Huh. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. Damn, this is heavy. to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This bunker is so surreal. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? Survivalist supplies. Jesus, Mary, I hate this place. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Everything is sketchy as fuck, but... Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help.
Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Orchard. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. What's with the Prescott's and needles? Close. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Jesus, I already hate this place. Somebody likes their whiskey. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod? Can you ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Oh yeah, school suspension... Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? 
This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Line. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I'm glad you stopped me. 
Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon.
Nathan. I promise to let you know. Let's get drunk and go swimming. What could go wrong? when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Energy drinks, so are our energy drinks. I know somebody has the rules. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. I just wish Old days. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? No big deal. Really? You look pretty fucking intense. Is Nathan bothering you? I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan epic headbutt. Yes, give it up for brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. He fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. But for helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is 
he hiding or something? for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Oh, the wick of a vortex claw. So not impressed by this VIP crap. Yes, you do so. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for? Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay. Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay. I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Not anymore. Justin's just a little buzzed. Yo, maximum overdrive. I've about time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore tex club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? 
How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus! You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. The tide is turning. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Hello? Can you please hurl and flush already? Yes! You've been vomiting for like an hour! Chloe must be around. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. If you don't wrap it up... Good night, sweet sister. prince. Ugh, gross. How did this even get here? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Dude for the party. I feel selfish going to a party. Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on the loop. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull in revenge or something. Yes. But can he do this? Okay. No more I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. I'm glad Dana ended up with Trevor. You showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. 
You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be sick. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich. And rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Her? Uh, we'll see. Victoria, your picture is so happy. Yeah, that would be wicked. Uh, did you hear something? I'm trying. Here's the queen bee. I guess. Real. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you made. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were abaddon -esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the vortex club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did throw Kate at the party so he could take her dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. 
Stop Max, I don't hate you. Scene. I actually oh, think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks. And I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from me. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. No, Logan, you're not getting any action tonight. Or even a dance. Logan, can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. Oh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? He should talk to his dad then. Bro's got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the chief seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen me. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. How cute you ever want to see? You're so cute. We never really talk. Talk about what? The next Bigfoots game. We could go out to the field. I could show you some moves. You could touch down. Logan, don't make me do Damn. That was way more exciting than the dance. Catch you later, Max. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Again. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. Taylor really shows her Vortex Club spirit. Oh my god. Max, seriously? What are you doing? Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? If I did, it's none of your business. This is a VIP area, so you should talk to the Just keep on dancing for Victoria. And stay away from Nathan. Like, thanks for your concern. A bomb. Give me a break. Damn. Surprise, Hayden is trashed. He would dose his own drink first before anybody else's. What's up, Hayden? Oh, uh, look. Up in the sky, it's super max party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or these hotties next to me. You want a hit? No thanks. Come on, God. I would kill to see you baked. Get that stick out of your ass. You need to get high more than anybody I know. Next to me. Not this week. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or, you can sit down and take a quick hit. Hayden, does Sean Prescott pay for the Vortex Club parties? What doesn't he pay for? The press got shit money. How else could we afford DJ Doomsday to spit? The Prescott family is literally making you dance. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. 
I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, the, uh, the whole gate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy, and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Maybe we should have called the police. Oh, I 
hate this place. Mitchell, I will get your revenge. I swear. God, I want to fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. Please. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Max, when we catch Nathan, you better rewind so I can kill him over and over. Look, we can't track Nathan Max, if you're not Please leaving. hurry! Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh! No! Chloe! Look out! What the fuck? Previously on Life is Strange.
Chloe. What? Where? It's a dark room. Victoria, too? This is so bad. Victoria, wake up. Wake up. Oh, shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria, too? This is so bad. Kidnaps Victoria, too? This is so bad. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Oh, shit. That's me. He took that shot last night. If I could move it towards me. Looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! My shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who is always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. 
You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Uh. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. Definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Oh shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad. Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh god. Where... where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate. And me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to jail. But he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please. I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max. I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Hold on, Victoria. Nobody is gonna die. Anymore. Max, what's going on? I thought you said Nathan was dangerous. But it was actually Mark? Mr. Jefferson? I was wrong. I should have known that Nathan couldn't do all this on his own. Do what? What's going to happen to us? Oh, please get us out of here. I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he toses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. 
Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. We're both here, okay? I just can't believe this is happening. That Jefferson would do this to me, to us. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Okay, I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good, now I can use them. Please don't hate me. Please don't let me die in here. Victoria, nobody is dying in here. We will escape, I promise. might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim. 
not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good. Because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart A battered old heart A heart Sorry, this is not art. This is purity personified. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. This one is out of focus, but... That's mine. Okay. Wait! Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. back to the moment this all started. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything. For good. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. 
A dumb word for a wonderful photographic trip. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? <sighs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. Let's, uh, let's move on. Hmm? Uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday time heroes to change time. The winter to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the first. Artwork. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Pork, it doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to- Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Victoria. I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will too. I'd like to bust this up right now. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I, I didn't- You don't have to explain. 
There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. That's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very... Happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Ah. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. Please shut the beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. I can't wait till I leave Frisco. Uh, no Please fasten your still. seat and stow so any electronic back. gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent 
in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. After all the damage control he had to do this week at Blackwell. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max... You're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wowzer, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the... I wish I had time to go see those murals here. I need to drop some serious cash in there. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Danny Lee article. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. The revolution will not be televised. I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay Area. Unlike Arcadia Bay, some mysteries should stay that way. 
Holy shit, this flyer was designed just for Chloe. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. But what would I wear? How fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say, artists instead. It's great to read all these comments, even the mean ones. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. It was cool that Principal Wells came along. He could have canceled our entries after what happened with Jefferson. How do these galleries afford to rent here? I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. God, I love art. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. This makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in high school. I always get so inspired whenever I come here. Damn, I bet that film costs a fortune. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Okay, we lost uh, you there for a second. Your notes. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag, high altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot! Oh, come on, please answer. What? Oh. No. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm Chloe! Stuck. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! Chloe will die! Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed! There has to be a way to stop this! For good! Look at 
disprint the depth of field. Like, I do not understand art. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. I guess everybody is a photographer now. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... Oh, you're Max Caulfield, right? Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. doing to time. My previous timeline was so perfect. I'll accept that I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh, I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid! Okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh. As if you care. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He you burned know, my diary. Always That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you.
Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh. It's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. This final dose won't hurt. What? for one last request. Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? And I promise you. throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that?
No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Jefferson, it's over. You're hiding over. a gun over there. Over. You are not going to stop David, me. David, kick that table. Yes, sir. <clears throat> David, kick... <clears throat> Jefferson, it's Grab over. Your gun now. Got it. You are not going to stop me. Grab that bottle. Jefferson, it's over. Max, are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. Max. Hold on, Max. So, where is Chloe? David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson Killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room? I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. 